You ready? She's black. Hang on. Let me, let me get it out of the way. Dear Internet, I'm really sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not. Megan Mayo. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. All right. I just want to give a quick shout out to the girl wearing the snakeskin purple sparkly pants. Those are awesome. Man. Call them vasculisk pants because those are on to kill, baby. It's good. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where should I start? Hmm. Well, Girl Scouts ruined my life. Um, See, when I was little, my dad left us for the Girl Scout leader. It's totally not his fault. Um, she needed her home wrecking badge, and he was only trying to help. <laughs> he likes uh, the Girl Scout law, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> it's not sacred, it's all right. <laughs> but it's affected me for the rest of my life. Now, every time I see a Girl Scout, I just punch that bitch right in the face. Then I buy five boxes of Thin Mints because that shit's delicious. Mm. They taste like abandonment. Mm. Uh, so are you guys ready for the rapture on October, October 21st? Right? Because yeah. third time's a charm, right? <laughs> uh, I liked waking up that Sunday morning because everyone couldn't wait to rub it in their face, you know? But personally, I was just sad that they were still here. Um, I really wanted him to leave. <laughs> uh, like, uh, everyone was rubbing it in their face, right? Like, and they, of course, the news organization goes up and finds the biggest redneck they can find. And they're like, so, uh, you're still here. What do you have to say about it? And this guy's like, Jesus is just testing our love. He's just testing us. Since when did Jesus become a jealous girlfriend, you know? <laughs> always testing our love, testing our faith. I personally think that it's no coincidence that there was no apocalypse and that Macho Man Randy Savage died that same weekend. He died for our sins, truly, I think. <laughs> he took down Jesus. That's not bad. Don't. That's awesome. M wait. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Um, I love Twitter. Twitter's my favorite social networking site. Yeah. My attention span is 140 characters. That's as far as it goes. It's Facebook too many, 380, no. Um, but I, I love it so much that I wish they had it back at, you know, like in the Civil War and stuff. That would have been awesome. Like, could you imagine the handles, like Drinking Lincoln, Ulysses No Pants. That would have been awesome. Stoned Y'all Jackson. <laughs> that would have been awesome. Uh, like you could just, instead of having to read in history class like these long letters written by Civil War soldiers to their girlfriends, dearest Martha, blah, blah, blah. It just would have been, uh, shot my brother, FML. <laughs> it would have been awesome. <sighs> so I went on an interview the other day and I really hate interviews. I mean, they're, they're not fun. I mean, first of all, like you're talking to some person who's probably not even qualified for the job either, right? And you're all itchy and uncomfortable because they say dress for the job you want and the Starfleet uniform is not comfortable. <laughs> uh, and they ask you all these stupid questions, you know, like, what do you, I don't like to lie, I like to be honest, so like, they asked me, what's your greatest weakness? And I told them bullets. Didn't work out. <laughs> Anyone looking to, for, for an employee? I'm awesome. All right, uh, my husband's a real beefcake, heavy on the cake. <laughs> He's not here, I can say whatever I want about him. Uh, we used to play video games together. Like They brought us together, but now they only break us apart. You know, We used to play Mortal Kombat, and we only play Marital Kombat. <laughs> We're in marriage counseling right now, actually. He says it's because I beat him and because I cheat. I think he should just get better at Halo. <laughs> he just needs to learn those maps like the back of my hand. <laughs> we're both passive aggressive and we're both writers. So when we fight, we do it over email. But he's like a real writer. He uses alliteration and metaphors like water. 
all this stuff. I'm a comedy writer. Like, I can't, def I can't defend myself against that. Like, the other day, I got an email that said, Megan, your thoughts are like oysters, potentially hazardous to the health and slimy to the touch. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck are you supposed to say to that, right? It took me eight hours, but I came up with the perfect reply, uh, and I told him, yeah, well, you have a small dick. <laughs> I win. <sighs> he's an English major, and he's always trying to get me to better myself through literature. And he had me read Moby Dick. Like, that's a terrible place to start, right? If the, in the second chapter there's a Starbucks, that's a problem, is the way I view it. Great, no one's read this book. That's perfect. But I, I really did try, you know? Like, I went and got the book on tape, and it was read by Sir Patrick Stewart. I'm like, Captain Picard, yeah, I can listen to this. But halfway through, he said, fuck it, and the rest was just Led Zeppelin lyrics. <laughs> uh, we're getting to the point, we've been married for five years now, and uh, my religious friends are starting to ask when we're going to have kids, because we're living, I guess, in sin. I don't know. Um, and I had a religious friend tell me, Megan, I'm just praying for you and Stephen to get pregnant. And I said, oh, that's funny. I thought you were pro-life. Uh, I hang out with a lot of guy friends, and we were at a strip club the other night, and they were all over this stripper. Her name was Fantasy. That bitch had a spray-on tan, fake boobs, and a weave. Her name should have been plagiarism. I mean, strippers need to find more creative names, right? Like, if I was a stripper, my name would be Onomatopoeia. Because I make you want to go boom, boom, boom. Uh, my guy friends also play this game where they punch each other in the nuts, and they call it cock knock. Yeah, it's dumb, because apparently there's nothing funnier than blood in your urine stream. Yeah, like, girls would never play a game like that. Like, would they, man? Would, no. Girls play Clam Slam. <laughs> and I suck at that game because I am a pussy. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my last one. I'll get out of here. Um, on the weekends, um, I work at Starbucks in the drive-thru. Yeah, it's the best job ever because there's a camera in the drive-thru and most people don't realize that, so I can see right into your car. Yeah, we see all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. One morning, I was working, and um, I hear the little beep, and I'm turning to look at the monitor, I'm like, how can I help you? And there's a guy giving, or a girl giving a guy a blowjob in the car at the drive-thru. I mean, Starbucks is expensive, but I don't know, ladies. This is an In-N-Out burger, okay? <laughs> so they pull around to the, uh, to the window, and I, I don't want to look at this guy. Like, I'm trying not to make eye contact. I, I don't want anything to do with them. And I see him reach out his window. And I think he has money. And I start reaching out my window, and he thinks I have coffee. So we're both just kind of meet in the middle. We're like holding hands, <laughs> looking at each other's eyes. And I didn't know what to say. So I just uh, asked him, um, so uh, do you come here often? <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. I'm making mail. Let's bring Russ back up to the stage. <laughs>